Well, Coach, here we are on the verge of a, another season. Um, obviously, just uh, really kind of starting to get going uh, full full <laughs> yes. speed at this point. Talk about you know what you've seen in the early going from your team and, and kind of what kind of team you think you got shaping up here. We're excited. Uh, <clears throat> this is the biggest team we've had. Um, we've never carried eighty close to eighty kids coming into camp, and uh, so our numbers are up, and uh, and uh, we're excited because a lot of big bodies for once. Um, we've always been uh, much more skill number wise oriented, and this year we were actually more lineman oriented. That doesn't mean we can. Uh, necessarily going to be our best players, but uh, <clears throat> I'm excited to see the numbers and we can do some things differently in practice that we haven't been able to do in the past. And uh, I'm, I'm, where we're at right now, I'm excited because we've not been this far along in O and D and then we've had in years because we've had so many, we've got so many returning players that teaching is very, very minimal. It's more repetition and uh, getting better to little things and, and minor tweaks. and. Uh, I think that's what every program strives for. It's just, do you have the numbers and the returnees every year to pull that off? And, and this year we do. Talk about you, you mentioned numbers. What, what kind of numbers are we talking about here? How many guys you got back that played significant minutes last season? Oh, we've got. Uh, we should look at uh, eight or nine starters back on D. And uh, offensive, we took a little hit because we had a lot of seniors. But then <clears throat> what we do offensively, we rotate so many kids that all of our juniors and sophomores played almost as equal numbers. So we're five or six returning on offense, but uh, those numbers are always skewed. And the beautiful thing about high school football is there's always kids you never see coming. And, uh, and we've had a number of kids that, just, that have just really kind of started to come into their own and uh, will compete for a spot. And uh, it's really added to our depth. And that's uh, probably been the most positive experience we've had the last four or five days here at camp. Well, you know, amongst those returning starters, obviously a kid that has, you know, really kind of came on for you leaps and bounds last year, your quarterback, Devin mm -hmm. Watson. Um, he's kind of the dean of quarterbacks now in yeah. Hall County. Yeah. Uh, talk about the maturation you've seen out of him, what, what you're expecting out of him as a senior. He's a, he's, a, well, he's a wonderful kid, first of all. Very intelligent. He's a natural leader, natural worker. I think his, his best maturation is, is he's learning to be coached in the finer techniques. Uh, a lot of times athletic quarterbacks and athletic football players in general get by so many years on their athletic ability. Fundamentals or <clears throat> finer points of coaching don't always resonate with them as well, where he has realized you know, that he needs the little things, and the little things are what's going to make him uh, a tremendous uh, player this year. And uh, he's physically bigger and stronger than he has been, and uh, he's motivated. And uh, we're excited what he can do, along with a number of other kids that we got. And we think are as equally as talented <laughs> at their positions as, as anybody. And, and uh, got some real, we're, we're excited. Talk a little bit about uh, just kind of, you know, y'all have, that offensively, y'all have, you know, kind of morphed and shifted and, and kind of, you know, gone with what you've had. Do you feel like you know y'all can continue on what you yes. what you've been doing? Talk we are, that. you know, when I first got here uh, eight years ago now, uh, the uh, hey, I'm the dean of the county now, and that's something. Um, initial plan was we've got athletes. We're not real linemen and dominant. We're going to throw it, spread it out, and do what we do. Uh, once we started throwing balls and we're going sideways, we quickly figured out initially that we had to be, we had to adapt more towards the run. But uh, now we've got, uh, I feel we've got a number of quarterbacks all through our system at all levels that uh, we feel strong that are going to be very talented and uh, we can continue on to do what I think is the best fit for our program and that's spread it out and, and, <clears throat> and uh, throw, it, throw it around as much as possible. What um, talk about some of the other guys that, that you're expecting big things from besides Devin? I'm excited about. I would say what uh, think about the most kind of gets me excited is our defensive line. I think it could be no. It, I, my I don't like doing comparisons, but six or seven kids that can really play, and uh, we've got size. We've got tremendous speed. I think we've got the best. Uh, combination of defensive ends around, and I know I'm biased, but uh, Alan Silva and uh, Abraham Sepaveda, now they may not look the college part, but they can just flat out play football. 
and their pro productivity has far exceeded any any defensive lineman we've had here in the past, and uh, we've had some very very good ones, and uh, we've got uh, a number of nose guards that uh, really came on and. Uh, I think as a coaching staff, we feel that we're most excited about was the work ethic, the camaraderie uh, of our D-line and, and O-line kids since December. Uh, I really think that's going to be a strength. And I think uh, when people look at us from tape last year, they're going to go, oh, they could be okay or whatever. But, you know, it's all said and done when the lights come on, how well you play. But uh, I know we can't block them. And uh, so it's exciting. I mean, it's football in high schools is linemen. If you got linemen, you're going to win football games. Period. I don't care where you are, what level you are, um, who you are. I mean, North Hall has proven that year after year after year. White County's proven that right now. They all, of course, they've had good skill players, but their linemen is why they've been successful. And uh, and we hope that uh, same same dynamic is carried over with us. You mentioned. White County, North Hall, two teams you, you don't have to play uh, no, no. In, the, in, the, in the league anymore. I mean, you, your region has shifted a lot. Uh, do you feel like that region now is you know up for grabs? Do you think anybody in the region can, can take this thing now? I think so, but I do think that uh, I do think there's some, some obvious favorites. Um, you know, I hope to think that we're involved in the mix, but I know Dawson County uh, with their situation and their continued uh, growth and uh, their players well coached they're going to be and along with West Hall who has really got a tremendous group of athletes right now in, the, in their two upper classes uh, you know I and uh, I don't know about Franklin and uh, but I heard they're athletic I've saw Lumpkin and they're pretty darn big and physical so I mean it's a uh, it's anybody's game you know, Banks is going to be vastly improved this year. Coach Parsons does a tremendous job with that group, and uh, um, it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm excited. You know, we, uh, I don't know how intelligent I am, but I went out and got me a real strong preseason thinking that, uh, you know, changing our philosophy a little bit. And now I'm looking as I see all of our teams and as I've seen the people we're playing this summer, kind of thinking, you know, I mean, I probably might have. Over, overestimated my scheduling there, but uh, you know we start with three playoff teams in the preseason, and uh, and that's uh, that's going to be a big challenge. But we've, we're really hammering in. It's one one game, one game at a time because uh, when you're playing quality football teams, you just uh, you can't overlook anybody. You're focusing on the rivalry game per se. It's got to be who we're playing uh, that week at that time. You know, I know obviously you mentioned, you know, eight years now. Um, yeah. <laughs> this program has grown tremendously yeah. in that time, uh, and I know you put a lot of hard work in. Talk about kind of the state of the program at this point. I'm very happy. We take the best. We have the best group of kids that the East Hall community uh, provides, and we've got them out for football. Uh, strong character kids. My coaching staff is, is second to none. We've all been together for almost the entire eight years. Uh, we've, you know, we've been blessed to add her to a coach here and there, but, uh, you know, their tremendous work and their, and our, our bond and as, as of us, our experience to each other, everything really carries over.